it's cool to to like talk about something, dream about it, look at fabric, talk about the concept of the installation and then seeing it come to life. It was pretty amazing. Most of the projects I get involved with are through relationships. I wouldn't really do it any other way. So, you know, this is a good meeting. We kept our relationship going in regards to like email and um, calling each other and hence came Stussy and Company and then, you know, Herschel Shop and Shop. Yeah, we met in uh, at Magic Trade Show in Las Vegas in, for Fall 2010 Trade Show and a mutual friend of both of ours named Rafe Edelberg from Vancouver linked us up and wasn't, uh, we weren't linked up to collaborate on anything. It was just really linking up with people going out for dinner, and, and uh, we hit it off. And a uh, phone call came uh, a few months after that. Why this really appealed to us? I mean, working with Eddie and Stussy and Co., and working with this Los Angeles store, and obviously uh, in conjunction with the brand Stussy, it, it allowed us to do something special. But it also allowed us a space to tell our own story. This was an interesting collaboration because. I independently own the Los Angeles Stussy shop, I and mean, I'm always finding, I'm always trying to find new ways to drive traffic to the shop, bring excitement to the shop. So when I met these guys, um, I thought it would be cool to do a shop and shop that wouldn't, with a brand that wouldn't conflict with the Stussy clothing line. For the collaboration bags, we took our success from a number of silhouettes we had in our line and really analyzed which ones would fit best for the line. We decided on uh, two of our bags, one's called the, the Settlement and one's called the Village. And they're two of our more successful silhouettes. Nice thing about both bags is they come with different feature sets. So although this one's going to be your basic rucksack, just you know throwing it on, doing what you need to do, uh, keeping it really nice and simple. Uh, we added a nice ripstop bottom to this, so it's a really nice durable, so it's going to have that durability story as well. It has that nice safety orange pop, and it's yeah. made out of ripstop. So very simplistic, added full grain leather zipper pulls to that bag, and and uh, and then double labeled it. And the village bag again, same deal goes with that. You can, you know, we just it's a little bit higher price point, so you're going to be at like I believe the price is ninety four dollars in this bag, and we're. Uh, uh, has computer sleeve built into it, so there's a lot more functionality built in. So whether you want the basic bag or something with a little bit more features, uh, had two great little silhouettes that worked really well. What sold me was the ripstop, like fire orange on the bottom bit. You know, when I saw that, when he showed me the drawings, I was really stoked and said, yeah, that was definitely a, a no-brainer. We've been really successful with our our simplistic styled bags and our, the way we go about it is although we're trying to add some nice attention to details to each of our bags, we, we really have had a lot of success with our simplicity. So we took our simplistic styling and we just added some color pop, something that differentiates itself from the regular line. We don't use these colors in the regular offering, but really something that gives, uh, gives good pop, sets it aside from the line, feels special. Uh, that was really a lot of the, the angle we were going after. Well, I'd like to continue doing these shopping shops just to keep adding flavor to the store, make the store more interesting. As I said, it's independently owned, so I have to do what I have to do. We also are going to dedicate one of the uh, tables to a brand called Clot out of China. The first thing when you're thinking about Canada that comes to mind not, is not necessarily fashion, you know, and, and I think that's part of the beauty of our, our country and the, the, you know, you might think of beautiful mountains and, and lakes and, and rivers, you know, or Canada's got a great talent pool and, and some unbelievable designers and creative individuals who, who uh, are not only successful in their own right but have worked for other companies worldwide. That being said, for any brand, in any country, in, in uh, you know, you just mentioned China to Canada to New Zealand to Australia. I feel that if a brand stays true to their vision, they, they know their point of difference, yeah. then borders are non-existent. Yeah. And people can be successful in this world no matter where you want to set up shop. We're proving that. do another collaboration for the fall. Are you trying to get this on film? I don't know. I think I think I think we should probably start working on something for sure. Thank you. Yeah, you know, that's